it's Chris coming to you with another one of my crazy crossroads and my buddy, Big Rich, Da Vinci Boa. Look at that. What's Is that up, not the coolest shirt you've ever seen? It's been a while. It's been a long time. Rich has been very busy. He's been traveling a lot. Um, now with what's going on in the world, um, we're going to concentrate on getting a channel up and going for Rich. We have some time to share with you guys now. And he's been missing out on a lot of shows. Shows have been cut down, all that good stuff. So we're going to kind of go through his collection once again. Any of you that might be interested in any kind of purchases from Rich, feel free, help him out. Um, but we're more or less going to try and get his channel up off the ground. And if you guys will click down on the link below to his channel, this Friday, you're going to see this video on my channel. This Friday, I'm coming back. We're going to do a video. I'll have it up on Friday. Yep. And it's going to be like his, I don't know, I guess... Uh, born again the rebirth of his channel so yeah. we're gonna get it going need you guys to help him support him all we need is uh, shares subscribes all that good stuff let's get him up and going rich does a lot of good things for the community here he's a good dude i would never back anybody that isn't a good dude so he's one of my brothers let's help him out guys but we're gonna go ahead and go through some of the collection here talk to rich a little bit and see what we can uh we can get into today so we'll see you in a minute all right rich you ready to do this buddy? all right guys so we had a litter about 10 days ago um, they've all shed out and we've got some stuff we're going to show you these are from a maximus line sunglow to a uh, hypo head maximus um, some of these are really pretty that's a hypo head maximus all these are going to be available after a few meals after all this stuff blows over um, we've got several more litters coming in the next couple months and this is this is a visual sunglow maximus yeah. line so the Sunglow is sort of is is what I have the Lily yeah. that you guys see a lot of. Um, obviously, I got her from Rich. I wouldn't get a boa from anybody else. Um, beautiful snakes, though. Thank you. So the genetic part of this, you want to yeah. give a qu quick explanation how how that goes? Yeah, basically, uh, what happens is is the father is a hypohead albino, so he's codom with a, with a recessive trait. Mom is a codom with a recessive trait. She's the visual. She's the Sunglow form. So no matter what you breed to her, half of the babies are going to be albino and sunglow if you bred to a hypo head albino. So half were sunglow and half were hypo, but the whole litter were all hypos because she's a super. So that means all the babies are going to be hypo no matter if they're albino or hypo. I can explain more to you, but genetics are going to get a little crazy because we have so many combos that we run into these animals. Um, you know, for example, we have, this is a purple sharp sunglow. Now the sharp, there's two different kinds of albinos. Yeah, there's a, a call line and a sharp line, and they're two completely separate lines. They're both albino, they're both T negatives, but they're not compatible. This is a Celtic, so this is a codom version. So this is a, a sharp albino uh, codom. dominant. Codom, codom means half of the babies are going to look like the codom parent, So no matter if it's the male or female. So whatever the litter is, if it's a litter of 10, mm -hmm. half of that half litter, of five of be. them will be... Correct. Okay, and if Correct. it's a recessive gene... You have to have two recessives to make, you know, one. So a blood bow is recessive. So if you breed a blood bow to a normal, all the babies are going to be 100% head for the recessive trait. So they'll You be, won't get any visuals. So they'll all look normal, but they'll have the gene They're in it. carrying the trait. It's called heterozygous, yes. So the next time they breed, mm -hmm. then they'll be able to... You breed to, them to another head, or a visual to a head, stuff and that's how you get yeah. And then these are some IMGs that we have. Um, and the IMG line is... Yeah, IMG is a codon trait. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it means increased melanism gene. But in this form, this is the uh, albino or the hypo albino version. So this is a, it's a mouthful. It's the Flamingo Hypo Jungle Lipstick Coral IMG. So Jeez, she's, that's she's loaded. That's a lot. Yeah. But you can see what happens is the... The pigment? The pigment is reduced as a baby, whereas in a normal sun glow, uh, here. Mm, mm, mm. So if you look at this one, you see how the pigment is dark red, right? Whereas this one is white. Right. So what's happening is, is the IMG is taking the red out of the animal, and it's going to turn it white. Okay. So this is a normal sun glow. Well, not really. This is a, a sun glow Abbey lipstick. So there's a there's a few more genes in this animal, but this is the IMG version. Um, oh, and then this is me. yeah. And this is like this is what the IMGs look like. This is a hypo IMG with the flamingo uh, line in it. Such a Pretty yeah. Such a pretty snake. There's three different variations. 
of the so hypo gene. These are all hypo. All these have hypo in them. And, and then hypo you have this is where you get the, the red. Right, right. It, it increases the red. Uh, and then you have this animal. There's no hypo in this animal. So this is an albino motley jungle. And that's... Well, and you see how it's less red. Yeah. It's more yellow. So there's no hypo She's in going it. To. Great color. Yeah, as they age, they lose a lot of their color. That's why the more genes you add into them, the more they're going to keep their color. Just look at those eyes. Yeah. That's one thing I just go crazy for with uh, Lily is those eyes. And I, like if you see this animal, this is a, you know, six months old in this ING. Posture in. This is a year old. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, there he goes. You got you? Yeah, you got me. A hypo IMG. Well, we got to get that on so camera this, when we get you. This is a baby. And this is a year old. So you can see the transformation. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. It, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but the, the, just the it bluish, uh, the, yeah, you can see it there. The bluish yeah. tint to that is beautiful. She doesn't have it yet. Um, she's going to be getting it soon, but the older the animal gets, the more the more um, iridescent it'll become. She's yeah. probably going to bite me, but this is what they look like when they're born. This is a hypo IMG. Well, they all like to bite the camera here. Remember the last yeah, time? Yeah, it's found? weird. Yeah, she's not too happy for some reason. But Okay, so... When I started doing these videos, I, I think I had about 20 snakes yeah. right around there. Mm -hmm. And then I had a litter of balls. Um, but I had to di downsize because I started traveling and it was just too much. And my wife's not really into taking care of them. So Rich uh, has been taking care of some of my snakes. Unfortunately, my if you guys remember my big boa, um, I had Tommy Lee and Heather. Uh, unfortunately, Heather passed away. She had a false pregnancy and um, she just had a rough time. She just couldn't pull through. Yeah. So. We tried medicine and we tried everything and she just didn't make it. Which, but it happens, you know, unfortunately, with life comes death. I mean, everybody knows that. Yeah. I was pretty bummed about it. Rich yeah. gave me a shoulder to cry on. and uh, But I have Tommy back at the house again, um, which I'll show you guys later. But I am going to show you one of my snakes that I had that I thought was like going to be the ambassador snake that anybody can handle. We always loved her, Arlene. She became like, well, she's she's a bitch now. Oh yeah, she's a yeah, bitch. Yeah, she's a bitch now. So she will uh, bite you. Poor Rich has to deal with that, but we'll show her real fast. And, then, uh, and it's so sad because she was my baby. Yeah. I mean, she was such a sweet little girl, but. Sometimes when you move them and you transition them, they change, their attitudes change. Like she's upset right now. Yeah, she's. so. She's getting big. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's not happy. Yeah. She used to, ah, oh, I never had any problems with her, so. I can't believe it. Well, I'm not gonna say we have problems with her. She's just in another aggressive animal. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot. No way to tell if it's a male or female's problem. Um, yeah. Some animals are more aggressive than others. Like for example, uh, you guys saw the video at the Tampa show last year. Yeah, yeah. When Joe, Joe was there and. Yeah. Um, yeah, when he got bit. Yeah, well, this was the girl. She's quite a bit larger now. Oh, yeah. And you and couldn't open that without her hissing. Oh, well, she's going to hiss, and she's probably going to bite me, but it is what it is. So. Yeah, but it was so awesome. This After animal she... is just an aggressive animal. She's always been that way. And she's in shed right now, too. You should yeah. be able to see her blue belly. Yeah. Oh, she got big. Yeah, she's quite a bit larger than what she was last year. She's but all right. Um, normally she's hissing. If she's not in shed, she's really mad, really upset. Which kind of defies the whole. Usually when they're in shed, they she's, can't she's the opposite. Yeah. She, day by day, but I had a few people ask me about what size I breed my males at, and it varies. For Colombians and Central Americans, it's different. So uh, I'm going to show you guys some males that are going to be breeding next season. They're ready now, but I haven't put them together yet. So these are some higher end males, and I say higher end because. They came from Germany. These were imported in from a real good buddy of mine. And um, these are, uh, they just ate a few days ago, so they're gonna have some bumps. This is a Paradigm Inca. And honestly, there's only a couple of them in the, sta in the States, like realistically. Really? Yeah, so we're probably gonna breed him to something really nice, sharp, uh, to keep the VWC and the Paradigm going. Um, you know, I could breed him to a Paradigm. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with him, but he's ready to go. And as you can tell, he's not huge. And he, but, he's two? Yeah. But you could see, you really, I mean, this is a breeder male. He's ready to go. I'm going to wait one more season on him just because I don't have the females ready. But he's already producing sperm plugs, which sperm plugs are a sign that these males are ready. ready. And then this is another one that's pretty rare. This is a, uh, 
This is a uh, T-positive Aztec Motley. It's a Central American line. This is not the Colombian line. And as you can tell, he's super small and he's really aggressive too, but... I would never so, uh, I would never guess there's Motley in that. Yeah, there's Motley Aztec T-positive CA. Um, he's going to... Gonna yeah, probably. And then, you know, a lot of people know me. I do a lot of the Central American morphs. I just like them. I'm known for it. I, I, I really did soar with them projects. And then this is the Motley version. And then if you want to see the, this is a T positive Aztec. So you'll be able to see the difference, how the Motley reacts. Well, yeah, you can definitely see yeah. in there. Yeah, I mean, uh, they brighten, it brightens it up. Um, and these are both Central American lines. A lot of people are gonna, you know, look for a brighter animal, but these are two years old. This is a female, this is a male. He's ready to breed. She still has another year and a half or two. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, come on, baby. But these are future projects that I'm working on. She's um, so beautiful, look at that. I don't post a lot of pictures of these guys just because I have so many animals. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me about my cookies and cream. Um, I name stuff just off the head. There ain't, there's no rhyme or reason why I do it. I don't genetically go into a book and say this is what it should be. I name these animals because of what they look like. So when these were born, oh, almost two years ago. Oh my God. Look at that. Um, they look like cookies and cream. Oh my God. So goodness. I named them cookies and cream. I did it as a joke. I took them to the show and I said, you know, cookies and cream line. Well, what it is, is it's a 25% it's a hog island, annery, and hypo with the IMG involved. And so what I did is I combined it all this together and I created, it really is, is you're genetically producing stuff that you don't know what you're gonna get all the time. Oh yeah, he's ready. He is, but see, you see the see the purples and blues coming yep. in? Yeah. Um, and he's actually getting ready to go into a shed. His father. This is his dad and he's in full blue right now. So look at that. Oh no, he just shed. Oh, so he literally just shed because we cleaned and you can see, don't bite me. See, a, a bite from a snake like this will be a little bit of a problem, but yeah, this is this boy. is brand new. This is soft, it's wet. He just shed within the last hour. But this is the cookies and cream. Oh, this is the cookies and cream maker. His, his father was a visual uh, ghost hog island. Really? Yeah, so this guy is gonna be a father this year with the God. ghost hog island female. He is gorgeous. Yeah. And you can see how he was really aggressive until Rich picked him up, and he's probably still a little on edge, but... Oh, he's I probably horny, uh, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be messed with on yeah. that. But, yeah, that's deposit right there. Um, he does have a female that we've already um, talked talked about him going on. Um, incredible. Looking but, at once him. again, Breed and Bow, is, it's, there's no rush to it. Uh, you know, I listen to him per se, you know, I, I watch what they do, uh, the bow how they act, one. I guess. You know, I've been doing this a long time. He's got a really nice size to him. I have better luck with, well, that's a Colombian. So you see the difference in the CAs and the Colombian. Um, we don't keep any of the sheds. This is a, uh, uh, let's see. So we have a hypo crack in head snow in the other room. She's grabbing. This is a Kraken head snow. Um, and Kraken is is your it's, line, it's right? It's still, it's not my line. Oh, okay. uh, a, buddy and I, uh, a buddy of my name, Scott Seavey, started it. And then um, my buddy Jason is where I got most of mine from. It's, it's still kind of being worked on. There's some people that believe in it, some people that don't. I bred several of them. There's definitely something going on. The super form is patternless. Um, but even the normal Krakens, like as a normal, this guy's spectacular you know he's mm -hmm. he's just got more color than anything out there he's 100 percent had snow too the pinks in there yeah yeah wow. if you can pick it up on camera but sometimes yeah. you can sometimes you can't but he's going to become a father here in a couple months she's gravid so i'm going for the super moon glow krakens uh super hypo krakens mm -hmm. super krakens i should have a, a good variety of babies in that one litter mm -mm -mm. he's yeah. a little huffy but not many people have got to see, that get is, to see him because yeah. I, I keep the project a little quiet because I'm still working on certain things with it. There's a bunch of non-believers out there. They think it's just another name, right? I don't do anything unless I know it's going to work. You right. know what I mean? Or, this is a, a, uh, an adult female. I didn't breed her this year. She's going to breed next year. 
but uh, she's gonna produce Phoenixes for me. Everybody knows Ooh. they've seen the Phoenix. So this is the girl that's gonna do it. I have two other girls in the other room that are Hypo Head Blood and a Visual T Blood that are all gonna produce Phoenix and Phoenix combos. So this is the Motley Garnet. Where is the Garnet? Oh wow. So this is a T positive Motley IMG 100% Head Blood. And this is the Garnet. She's the oldest and she's the first ever produced. So this is a visual T positive Sun Glow Platinum IMG. Just look at this, look at the coloration going yeah. down this. And this is the Motley version. Okay, so where is this coming from? That's the Platinum. Uh, okay. I'm thinking, you know, my line of... Wow. It's a line of T positive. It kind of works like a, it's a cleaner gene. It takes the Burke line and it makes it a lot prettier. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an IMG version. Um, if you want to grab this platinum over here, this is a normal platinum hypo that you can see the color. I posted a picture of her the other day and I had quite a few responses on is her. Is it this one? It is, where is she at? Right here, the pink, right there. Girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you look at that, that's a normal, Ooh. easy, 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 baby. You want me to hold her? I got her. That's a normal Sunglow Platinum. Just coming to you. And then you have the IMG version. Oh, she got the camera on that one. She keeps getting the camera. So it's something with, it's something with the lens. It could be the, the camera. It could be the reflection. Uh, 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 no, 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 Here, no, 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 no. No, she's gonna go after me. Yep. Get rich. No, no, no. Here, here, you're gonna. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't want to get bit today. So now, you see. So the <laughs> IMG care. version, the normal version. So the IMG darkens it tremendously. Oh, yeah, that's weird. How yeah. Go right for the lens. Bit. But like that's it. the animal that you're holding. That, that's what started the whole uh, IMG this, Central project. This coloration is just absolutely yeah. she's hard to take photos of insane uh, i don't know if you can get those colors or not i was trying to lay her on the table let's see let's see if we can get that just look at uh she's too feisty Come on. look at that tail i mean let's yeah. look at the color rich that is gorgeous man. yeah she's really pretty yeah I, I it's like you see hints of green in it yeah she's it green so yellow weird. blue purple brown wow yeah, I call her my Girardelli snake. Girardelli? Yeah. Just gorgeous. And then I have a baby version, and you'll see the difference. She's mean too, but she can't hurt me. Yeah. Look at the tail on her. Oh man, look at that. Yep, same same thing. Look at the colors. Yep. Man, look at that. So she's gonna turn into this. Unbelievable. Yeah. This is one of my favorite projects. This is why I, I put so much time into it. And then I'm going for the Motley Inca version of this. This is one of my secrets, so I don't normally show people this. Oh, look at these two lovebirds. Look at that. Are they nah, not locked up? He's right not, now. but and, and Incas are very small. They're not a she's a 2015. She's very small they're actually both 15s but that's the black pearl mm -hmm. um, a lot of people know him a lot of people have seen him i've sold a lot of snakes because of him yeah this is the black pearl so he's he's an img motley 100 percent had platinum t he's the original this is a t positive inca so they're both codoms so what i'm gonna get is i'm gonna get t positive inca motley imgs which is gonna be way surpassed and way ahead of a lot of people that's unbelievable. Um, but this is the Garnet version, so you can imagine the Motley going into this mm -hmm. with the Inca. Yeah. Yeah, Rich brings the Black Pearl to all the shows, right? Some of them. When he's not breeding, I give him the opportunity to go ahead and, uh, you know, go to the shows. And this is another T Inca, or T Positive Inca. And it's just a really pretty pattern morph that she doesn't okay. like me. But you can still see Oh, get, they love that man, lens, man. Getting some, some getting good lit shots up. today. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, look at her jaws all 
She's normally not that aggressive, but I guess your camera, they don't like your camera. That's so weird. I remember that last time we shot here, yeah, too. It's, it's something funny. with the reflection of the camera. It could be. So this, She's normally aggressive, too, but she hasn't came at me yet. So being that there's, I guess, the reflection off of the camera lens, they keep... It's possible. They're coming after you guys at the house there, so be careful. It's That's going to scare the hell out of everybody. I love it. So this is a Phoenix maker. So this is a Hypo Blood and he carries the T-positive gene. He's 100% hep for T-positive, but it's a visual hypo blood. Look, he's, gonna, he's looking at it too. He might do it too, which these are not really aggressive animals, but it must be something in the camera lens. Mm. Yeah. Well, he's, he's all right. This is the key to the Phoenix right here. Or the Super Phoenix, which is still okay. working on that. Still working on that. This is a T-positive Honduran. He came from Germany. Another T positive line. I, I, I work a lot with the Carmel albinos, a lot with the T positive, the CAs. Um, I pretty yes. much have every line. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give a shout out to my boy Michael Roscoe. He, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any of this German stuff, any of this this stuff from uh, you know Amsterdam or Holland. A lot of the animals I got, Rick Van Vliet, I got a lot of my stuff that got started over there with him, uh, Walter Bird. All these guys know who they are, and they've really got me to where I'm at. That's um, awesome. But Roscoe is my guy. He's my partner in California, and he um, he does all the shipping, all the importing, all the exporting. But yeah, yeah and we obviously you can see we still have a lot of spots open. We still have another five or six litters that are coming this year. It's been a slow year because we did a lot of traveling. About six months ago, we started traveling, going out of state. Um, we've been doing really well with it. So it takes away from this. I can't breed as much, I can't do as much at home, and that's why we're doing these videos. You know, Chris was like, we need to get back online because you have the time. Yep. So, and, and hopefully you guys like it. To speak on that, guys, um, this is Rich's livelihood. This this is yeah, how he feeds business. his family. This is a this is a big deal for him. Um, if you go to Morph Market, and I'll, I'll attach it down below, and type in Da Vinci Boa, you can see all the stuff that he has for sale. If you're ever curious or interested about purchasing a boa um, there's a place to do it right there so check all that out you know if anything just give them some love guys yeah um this is another one i took a picture of that uh is really really hard to capture the color um but she's like orange peel orange look at that i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not yeah. this she wants look at that they all go right well, to that really line. that's incredible I remember last uh, first time we shot, yeah. we said the same thing. Wow, uh, pretty. Video that, just so pretty. that we're gonna do, we're gonna sh shoot a video and have it out Friday on Rich's mm -hmm. page. So um, guys, be prepared for that. What are you thinking? We're gonna are we gonna go into the adult room and take a look at some of the breeding? Yeah, let me snakes? let me let us know if you want to see the adults. Um, I breed everything on premises, on site. So I have the adults. I have all the parents, the grandparents, and great grandparents of everything that you've seen. Um, except for a few animals, obviously, the ones from Germany and a couple of the deals that I've done, you know, um, I still do buy snakes or trade snakes, but 98% of the stuff is from me. Uh, we could do the adult room uh, on Friday if you guys want. Okay. Just let me know and, you know, just, just give me an idea of what you guys want to see because um, you'll get to see what the babies are going to turn into from seeing the adults. Is that Dusty's Oh new yeah, pet? This, is, this is my son's pet. This is Ace. Look at how He loves the BRB. Gorgeous. The Brazilian rainbows. Uh, he loves them. I love them too. I just they're just yeah. so beautiful. And just look at the tint coming off of him. It's it's crazy. And as you guys know, he's a photographer, so you go look at some of his yeah. Da Vinci Bella photography, I'm assuming his Instagram yep, pages. That's what it is. And I, you guys check out his son's 14 years old and yeah. check out some of the photography work he I does. I gave up taking pictures with him. He beats me in all these contests. He's incredible. But you guys do understand, I taught him everything he knows. Yeah, yeah. So, but I gave up. He's so much better than me and he surpassed what I can do. I just use my cell phone to take all my pictures. Yeah. yeah. I don't have the time to set up yeah. all that stuff. Ah, that thing is gorgeous. And you guys have never seen anything like it, trust me. And you probably never will again. Nope, that's not him. He's right here. That's him. <laughs> Look at that. 
What in the world is going on there? I don't even know if I'm gonna breed this guy to be honest with you. Really? Um, no, he's he's more of like a novelty. He's a he's a paradox gene, which it's not it's not reproducible. It's kind of like an anomaly. It happens. It happens. And that can happen in any litter. You can get that can happen paradox, in right? any form of life. Um, yeah, but you mostly see it in the hypos. You mostly see it from the hypo traits. Um, but he's he's a hypo motley paradox, and he's just spectacular. And um, is he Columbia? Yeah, yeah, he's Columbia. He's thick. He's he's a big boy. I think he's uh, five years old. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, he's five years old. Yeah, but good. I don't know if I want to breed him because I, I, it, you're not going to get anything out of it anyway. You know. I, I wouldn't say that. I, I, I could. I mean, there's a 50% chance I could get another one of those. Mm. But here's the problem. The price that these guys are, people don't pay for it because they're using these animals as genetics. Right. Um, now, if somebody wanted to pay, you know, $3,000 for that snake as a pet, that's a different story. But they're not going to do it as a breeder because it's not reproducible. You know, as, as a business owner in the business, you're wanting to reproduce and you're wanting to make money as an investment. He's cool, right? He is gorgeous. I got the best picture of him right yeah, now. Yeah, he's cool. Let's see if I can pet him on his head without getting bit. Yeah, yeah he's ready to tag you, so. Watch. Nice. He's high alert. Yeah. Oh, he's mean, too. He's gonna get you. No, I he's got him. Right no, now. I'm the bow whisperer, remember? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you've never done this. What is your deal? Fa those are usually the famous last words, right? <laughs> Before you get tagged. He is absolutely Isn't he cool? incredible. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy coming here. I love coming to see Rich. I love just BSing with Rich, talking with Rich. His kids are awesome. Great family. Like I said, the guy does a lot for a lot of people, and it's, uh, it's my pleasure to help him anytime. So, um, yeah, absolutely, man. But with this quarantine time, as long as we can get in the car and come over here, I'll be over here helping him as much as I can. We're going to get some shots. Uh, we're going to get another video out this week, and it'll be on his channel. And I'm going to hope that you guys can do me a favor. Please just subscribe to his channel. Subscribe and share it. That's Please. All we that's all we're looking for. We're not asking yeah. for any donations or anything like that. No. Because if you share something that, uh, that a family member or a friend might actually see that rich has and they might want to actually make a purchase yep. you know you can help him out in the long run and that's what we're looking for we're all looking to help each other out any way we can right now and any questions you guys have i can i can answer to the best of my knowledge i can help you out if i don't know it i know somebody that knows it there you go um so yeah just whatever you guys need just let me know if you want to see something or you're interested in something let us know we'll take care of it Please do see everything down below because I'm gonna have his um, his Instagram page. You gotta check it out. You see these beautiful pictures of these snakes. Um, I'll have his Instagram page, his Facebook page, his face, uh, his Instagram merchandise page. Which, if yeah. you don't like snakes, perfectly fine. How yeah. could you not love that logo? This thing is a hit. Everybody loves it. Look at his hat. He's got tumblers, tumblers, hats, beanies. Yeah, we're, try we're trying to branch out and do a lot of stuff. Um, we're talking about a few other things. So uh, you go to the uh, Da Vinci Boa official merchandise page. Uh, Rosie uh, Jerkins actually runs that page for me. She's the manager of the merchandise department. So anything you need, go talk to her. Uh, we'll put her link in the description and stuff like that. There you go. And his, uh, you know, his stuff you're going to start seeing all around the world because people are buying it ev from everywhere. So get on top of that. Buy a shirt anyway because it's just the coolest logo. But hey, guys, we'll see you guys in a few days. Doing another video here, and hopefully I can get outside uh, this evening and bring you guys another spooky, crazy video. Yeah. So thanks again, guys. Also, thank you so much for everything you guys are doing for me. I know I always say thank you. I appreciate everything. I'm so happy you guys enjoyed my last video uh, alone in that woodshed, the crazy woodshed. If this is out before Joe's alone challenge, um, <laughs> get over there and check that out because it's absolutely nuts he told me about it and it's insane so um i will see you guys soon i hope this video finds you all safe healthy and remember i love you take care of your family deuces